the exclusion of Prime Minister in waiting, Datuk Sri Anwar Ibrahim, from the Economic Action Council or EAC was decided by the Prime Minister. Economic Affairs Minister Datuk Sri Azmin Ali assured that the council will, however, involve all stakeholders in the engagement process in order to draw up the best solution for the country's economic challenges. Well, ini ini keputusan yang diambil oleh Yang Amat Bumat Perdana Menteri. Tapi saya yakin dalam proses engagement untuk mendapatkan input dan makmalas itu, kita akan uh, engage dengan many stakeholders lah. Uh, termasuk anak muda, wanita, uh, business community uh, because we need more input. This is just a small council to gather all those information from the stakeholders. So we should allow them to conduct the first meeting and set the parameters and from there we will go down and engage with the stakeholders and we will discuss further to see how best we can work. He said this after a Chinese New Year event with the Federation of Hokkien Associations of Malaysia on Tuesday. When asked if the findings of the EAC would be revealed to Anwar, Azmin said all will be involved in the discussion. He said the EAC is well represented by credible personalities who are experts in their field. So they have a wide experience in many areas. And as I mentioned earlier, this is just a council that will uh, continue to engage with uh, the stakeholders to bring in their views and inputs uh, so that we can formulate and draw up uh, immediate and also medium-term strategies uh, to resolve some of the uh, compelling issues. On Monday, Dr Mahathir announced the formation of the 16-member EAC comprising himself, ministers and business leaders. The Council will examine and decide on economic and financial affairs and welfare of the people.